it's for having a loop loop you understand what is loop yeah so loop is basically a repetition of code with how many times we have to repeat the code that is basically, basically we do with loops there are several types of loops so let us know our first loop that is our for each loop okay in for each loop uh, we uh, provide the value of a selection or a group of range to other range to a group into single thing if i am dealing with files so i need uh, the variable here as file okay because i am dealing with range in selection property so i need a variable as range in this part we will uh, deal with group and this group give one by one value to this variable means for each r in selection so here i am using r dot value in selections first cell when comes then in first cell value should be use this formula u case r dot value u case is usually used in vba for upper case okay mm -hmm. just like upper formula we use in excel we use u case so mm -hmm. there i am passing a reference and it will give me the value with processed with formula so this is the thing uh, what i am doing here uh, i am passing r dot value in u case the processed value will be assigned again in r dot value okay mm -hmm. so this option i can use for where i am i have some text here when i run this when i select this and run this code then i find that every cell one by one uh, turned into upper case mm. okay now let's see how it's happening here i just again turn these value for step by step processing of code i have just selected this value and uh, we are doing with selection i press here f8 from my keyboard so declaration done for each loop uh, when i um, uh, over my cursor to any uh, variable it show me what it's having currently r having nothing when this row will be processed then it show me the first value r equal to sandeep means the first one this one then we run the code again press f8 this is processed now the first value turned into bigger one we can see over our mouse to this variable so we can see the it is containing the upper case then we press f8 again so next star goes and the other value so how it is working f8 mm -hmm. now change second value this one so it is processing like a b c d e then it will start from harish this and then we cast mm. everything it, it it's moving way how it works then running the code i will just play this button it converted each of them so we should know the pattern in what pattern our loop is working basically loop is starting from far right or what is starting what is it 
where it is starting actually loop you you defined r as a range okay. i have defined r as a range then okay this is the keyword for each for each ah, r okay. in selection then here is the code and this is for repetition next r means it again goes to this section and oh, then okay. repeat for all the group where till then selection is passing the value to r it will be running mm -hmm. when a selection has no value it will stop mm -hmm. basically we use like this then we take another example i just take some values here from a1 to 25 from a1 till 25 i am containing the value okay now see this uh, example in loop 2 i have taken dim r as variant variant i use for various type of values okay it can be integer it can be string any and the so what is variant i mean sorry uh, it's something i asking uh, some basic question uh, maybe uh, it's uh, maybe funny question also <laughs> uh, what is variant here it's like uh, uh, it, it is a variable just In, okay this is the second type of loop which is called for loop that was for each it is for loop in for each loop what it does a group of selection uh, a group a transferred into single objects in a whole loop but when we deal with for loop so in for loop basically we have to specify that how many times we need to run the code we need to loop our values so uh, we type this for a variable is here the initial value of the variable and the last value till it's run okay so this loop will run when i was con uh, i is containing 1 then when it's go to next i the i will contain 2 such as 3 4 5 till 25 so here we give the limitation from 1 to 25 it has to run this variable is required there you can name any name you can provide i initially has taken i here now what okay. i am what i am doing i am doing uh, i have typed here a, a if condition if r what is r here r i have never specified so let's uh, take r what is r r will be our uh, r equal to cell cell we can use for uh, specifying range it takes i think cells is there row index and column index cells property uh, cells function and uh, first we need to provide row so row i will take from i and the second column index i will take 1 so it will move in first column the row will be uh, get from i okay dot value and now i check with the condition if r is greater than 50 then what it does range a concatenated with i a when concatenated with i it will generate like a1 a2 a3 a4 okay 
but when a, a r is greater than 50 when the value will be greater than 50 then it will it should run otherwise it should do nothing so i have changed the font dot color as vb red so i have changed the color where the value is greater than 50 okay this next i i uh, transfer again here for next uh, next value so when i run this code range of object global field object global field font dot method range of object global field we can use cell Maybe you need i you need to put apostrophes no no uh, nothing is required i have ran this code too many times okay i use another code here cells so i and column index one now I can use okay so it run the code so here you can see the all the colors all the values which are greater than 50 now are uh, filled with red font okay but I have given a limit here that it should run 1 to 25 suppose there was a heading in first one so what should I do I should I can start also from 2 here 2 to 25 10 to 25 10 to 50 I can decide the value okay now I again run the code and again you can see the result but it is running till 25 so I can exceed the value to 26 now when I want to change the values dynamically I want to get the values dynamically so what method in I section I can use here R right I can use here that uh, I can choose this active sheet dot range here I can a dummy a6500 dot end excel up dot row row number ok so I can dynamically change my values it will work till it has the value now I change it again I have made it dynamic I play this macro I, I can see it is working fine ok because this will give this will give the uh, last test last row how mm. let us press F8 through F8 we will get to know the code is active now we can move our cursor to it no it's not getting actually here it is not showing but if we use some variable here such as and now in k when I pass this value here and 2 to k ok now when I press f8 in k 
we can see the value can be seen here 40 it is providing the value but it cannot be seen uh, every time it uh, works only in variables this option when I move the cursor to variable it shows me how it is working it ran or not okay for releasing the code we can press F5 so you can see the code ran fantastically next go to next loop <laughs> here I have used too many conditions in this section I have used only single code is a single if condition there was no else part means when the con uh, when the condition goes false what should be the code I I have not defined here so what we can do here we can use as such as we can use else or we can use else if we have condition then we can use else if there if we don't have condition such as we should add here else part also else part if the r value is not greater than 50 then what should it do it should change to green okay now let us run the code so we can see all the values in else part was converted into green okay this is else part in the in this condition was true and in this condition was false okay if we don't want to work in false we should not give this else part but this and if is needed it is the code if r greater uh, than 50 then and uh, you write your code and then and if this is ne this is necessary this is the code pattern okay now let's get to another thing now I have some values I type here ten to two hundred and randomly generated some values here now what I have to do in if condition we want to find that the value when it is 0 to 40 then it should be given incentive as 500 suppose it's a sales and here I want to generate some incentive okay we have used if condition for that and we look up true function for that but let us know through VBA then we have value 41 to 80 thousand rupees then we have value 81 to 100 it is 15 then R is greater than 100 and when it is greater than 100 then it should be 2000 ok so this condition I want to put here in incentive section so what would be the condition here uh, r as variant i as integer i i have generated the value here i as 2 i equal to 2 2 application work dot worksheet function dot count a range a, a. see here i am using uh, a function which is available in excel suppose i want to use this count a and given range here a, a this function 
but all the functions available with excel worksheets is not available in vba so for accessing those functions in vba what we do we type a code here application dot worksheet function dot count uh, the worksheet function after worksheet function you will get this code and here i can provide the value it is now converted for vba so i can provide the value in range okay so this will work application something is problem with uh, i have no, the, uh, the name of the application spelling yes that's why it is not working because it will show you uh, the marks also when you press dot it will show a list like this worksheet function dot the function you can choose from here count to so count blank is here count if is here count a is here so you can provide the vba range keyword here now it is counting from this function which i have typed as count a it is also a method for getting the last value so it is 40 so here we can see it is 40 okay so till 40 it will run, uh, run. so we can see in our loop i have set a condition then the value checking r has the value of cells i1 with i it will synchronize the value i have started from 2 because my value is from second second cell second row so in row i have given i and in column i have given 1 when r equal to this value then in if condition i have type when r equal to if r uh, is less than equal to 40 then what we should do range b and i suppose there is two so b2 dot value equal to 500 now we have next condition we have to check that uh, it is uh, less than 40 but when it is not less than 40 we want to put another condition here so an, another condition we can put in our else part in else part we are putting a condition with this else if keyword so else if we type then we type the condition then the code here okay so it will be th thousand when the value is uh, less than uh, equal to 80 okay after that we move to another condition else if r less than equal to 100 then this keyword this 1500 then the value is greater than 100 then this thing so the code will be running one by one so when this condition will uh, run first it will put the value the suppose value is 60 so how your code is run when a uh, because 60 is r is less than equal to 40 so here it will be false when uh, it got true here it will run this and if it is not true here it will move into this section section wise then end if is necessary for ending if this is one pattern so let us run the code here and of course next i will be there for looping so let us run the code here something got failed range class is failing here if I type active sheet here what happens I think range is not working due to sheet is not given 
Well, let us try with active sheet. What is the difference active sheet and active sheets? Active difference or active sheets cannot be there because two sheets can't be active in same time. Okay. Active sheets means which is visible and something is selected there. So active sheets is not a keyword. Only okay. active sheet is there. Active Yeah, maybe sheets, sheets is there I think. No, active sheets is will not work. No, no, not active sheets, only sheets. Yes, active. yes, yes, sheets are there. So active sheet, uh, I'm using for this active sheet uh, that uh, yeah. when I have the visible sheet, so I need not to select that sheet to here. I want to make this function available for every sheet which is visible. Okay. 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 Now again run the code application defined error some error is there no problem use this cell code it is very easy to use range why it is not working I'm not understanding because earlier I have used this thing because after using that then I have saved this workbook Sometimes some problem occurs in that. So I have totally changed the value. Run the code. Okay. One mistake I have done, which I uh, cannot survive, uh, revive, that I have turned all the values of sales into incentive. So whatever uh, I need to do here, I have to provide to second column. See, the VBA mistakes cannot be rev uh, rev revived with Control Z. It is the biggest drawback. Whatever is done, is done. You can't do anything for that. It's like a database. <laughs> yes. You can't, uh, sometimes your data can also be destroyed. So always try with new sheet, with copying, pasting data. Otherwise, you you will you have to lose your data because uh, whenever we are not so much expert that we can code we can trust yeah. our code so we should not use these things directly so here I can find uh, my condition is fixed here all the values is populated in incentive and here in VBA you will find that the formula you type it is very easy to know suppose if you are trying these formulas in Excel it is very lengthy and you have to be sure in one time only but in VBA you have lot of time to write this lot of space also to write this okay so this now let's move to with uh, another if in this if condition eh, suppose I have a person and he came to me for any interview so there was rounds are there round one so he has played for five rounds one two three for four rounds okay four rounds and now the condition a is when every cell is containing yes then it should display the result as selected otherwise rejected 
so what i will do uh, this this thing called nested if multiple if so in one if condition what i have done range b2 dot value equal to y i have checked with that if it is y then it should check range c2 is equal to y such as range d2 is equal to y and range e2 is equal to y when we find the range e2 the final range which is given here e e2 is y then it should display in f2 selected in its else part we will show in f2 rejected and we need to specify the else part of this if also so in this if i have uh, Uh, given the value as rejected and for this if else part is here rejected and for final if here it is rejected mm. okay now let us run the code so here is the result when there is a no in any cell when we run the code it will show rejected so these macro we can attach to a button also so from insert i uh, press a shape and i can use generate result uh, i can change look also and right click assign macro let us see which one macro is loop 4 so right click assign macro loop 4 okay now when i click this button it will show me the result okay so this macro will work this is basically nested if mm. and this is also a sample for for loop i 1 to r then mm. uh, this is a sample for that you need you know the factorial value when we type this fact fact function and give the number then it gives us factorial value which are they 4 3 2 1 it does multiplication from this one to this one to this one to this one to this one so this function i want to create in excel Uh, and bba this thing so i just uh, do how to do that i have taken r as single r1 as single single why i am using for uh, dealing with uh, integer values numeric values integer uh, does not support uh, decimal places and integer does not also entertain the value more than 36000 so we use single for that hmm. so r as single r1 as single so initially i have given r as 5 r1 as 1 okay hmm. and when we have i also for looping i equal to 1 to r means 1 to 5 okay then what we does r1 equal to r1 multiply by 1 i because uh, why i am doing this you can understand that uh, that r1 is my uh, r is my base value until what we have to continue it's i i is moving to r this section okay 
but we need a uh, another variable for calculation because we can't use i here because i will change its value so i use r1 here but r1 uh, why i am providing this one value here because when it has no value it's considered as zero and when you multiply zero as one uh, as i so it becomes zero so we need a initial value minimum value of one for any multiplication that's why i am using r1 as one so r1 equal to r1 multiplied by i initially it will one multiplied by one so it will be one no problem but next in case uh, it run so it will take two so when two multiplied by one uh, one multiplied by two it will return two in r2 okay so the final value will be this in message box mm -hmm. then the result i have uh, populated in message box message box okay r1 okay you understand this code mm -hmm. to some yeah, yeah, yeah. okay then we have no i understand clearly it's fine yeah hmm. now for, after for each and for loop we have another loop do while in do while what we do after this do condition do while we have a condition i have typed till cell i when it is not equal to uh not equal to blank this value should be uh, yeah. with plus 10 the other cells value yeah. and in what happens in this for loop the next i uh, increase the value of i every time but in do while case there is nothing incrementing there so for populating result in cells i need a incremental value so i need to increase the value by my own so that's why i have used i equal to i plus 1 every time when uh, it loop it will increase the value of i so here what we are doing do while when you are finding uh, whenever the value is e equal not equal to blank it should run so this is the second uh, option we can use in this list for finding the last one this is equal to blank when a, uh, the condition goes false the loop ends okay so it will go false when it finds equal a, a, a blank value here so i should start i from second because hmm. this is the uh, from second what was uh, this should from second okay now let us run this code i just delete this what it's doing it is uh, adding 10 in the sim this value okay so i just run this code here and i find the value added 10 here okay till it's not finding a blank here then we have another rule loop here do until in while and until uh, there is a very little difference uh, one thing more we use this code do while condition then we have code and then we at the ending word will be loop okay hmm. then we have do until 
when i is greater than 6 then hmm. the value will be 20 when it's hmm. five, uh, find greater than 6 then it will uh, do the value as 20 so i type another values here 1 2 10 i just delete this one and do until and i this value i use 2 2 no uh, what should i do here i just provide the value of i greater than 6 okay we can use this thing as like No. Suppose till 6 we want to do this. Okay. But no, no. In reverse code we have to do. Okay. Till 10. Because i is greater than 6. It is asking for 6. Then mine the the code goes in reverse direction. The I value should come through. True, true, true. What I am trying to do this. I I can't use here. Because I will be running all the time. Okay. I want to do it six times here. That that is the main code here I want to do it six six times or five times so it will run because I is every time incrementing here so for this uh, I use that as one and uh, in this section I use plus one because my uh, range is starting I want to start from two here so i is automatically incrementing is just uh, writing 20 for 6 times 6 uh, almost 6 to 5 times 6 times you can find that 20 is pasted here it is a basically conditional loop where you can put as per your requirement uh, basically it does whenever it find the condition is true it works and in while loop you find the condition is true when you find the condition it becomes here when it is not completing at 6 it is running and whenever it is not finding uh, an equal to it is running so this is this is very uh, little difference between that you understand what I want to say yeah uh, do while and do until mm. so as cleared by its name uh, so it, it works like that by its name then we uh, suppose we want to increment our values because in 4 we know that every time it increase one only but let's suppose we want to increase two or three or ten times so we use this step keyword 
स्टेप टू फॉर आई वन टू सिक्स स्टेप टू लेट सपोज आई जस्ट कम बैक टू दिस शीट एंड रन दिस कोड वॉट इज डूइंग इट इज टाइपिंग थ्री टाइम्स हंड्रेड आफ्टर वन रो मीन्स इट इज टेकिंग इंक्रीमेंट ऑफ टू वन देन थ्री देन फाइव ओके वन थ्री फाइव ओके देन वी कैन यूज इन नेगेटिव ऑल्सो स्टेप माइनस वन द वैल्यू विल इंक्रीमेंट इन माइनस फ्रॉम एट इट विल स्टार्ट एंड टिल वन इट विल गो द स्टेप विल बी इन नेगेटिव माइनस वन इट विल राइट फ्रॉम डाउन डाउनवर्ड सो वेन वी रन दिस कोड थ्रू एफ एट सो वी कैन फाइंड द इंक्रीमेंट इट्स इंक्रीमेंटिंग टू अप it is moving upward when i run this code it feels basically for directional change okay now let us create a pyramid that's how to create a pyramid here this is for uh, for the sake of iq only this type of pyramid how it is created mm -hmm. Okay, through star I have given, but how, how it is given? Let's see an example of it. Mm. So uh, let us type another new code because it is creating dim i and k as integer. Then I am doing for i equal to वन टू फाइव ओके दिस इज माई फर्स्ट कंडीशन फर्स्ट लूप नेक्स्ट आई हेयर वट आई एम डूइंग आई एम लूपिंग फाइव टाइम्स फॉर फिलिंग फाइव रोज हेयर ओके देन देर आर फाइव स्टार स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम वन and uh, ending at 5 so i ne need second loop here for k equal to 1 25 next k in between i provide the code cells i the row i am drawing with first loop when the uh, loop comes on i it will uh, take one one and this loop will run for five times after that it goes to next i when i is containing two it will run again for five times okay so for limit sure. limiting that what i am doing the maximum value here the limit where it is given i provide i the loop loop should continue only for times uh, which is only for the values which is stored in i so what will happen here k plus 10 why i am giving plus 10 because i want the value populated from here itself from 10th column because i need space for creating here also okay the first uh, uh, triangle i will create in this section mm. so that's why i have in column section k plus 10 okay now dot value equal to star now let us uh, run the loop slowly f8 you can see there is a first star in k okay what means in uh, first column 
and k is having value of 1 plus 10. So, 11 and 1 means first row 11th column ok then I again press F8 now I is containing the value of 2 and K is containing the value of 1 so it will draw a second star here but I has the value of 2 so 1 to 2 I, it has to run then what's it doing the k is now having the value of 2 10 plus 2 12 so in 12th column it will create one more star ok hmm. just like that now the value of i is become 3 and k, uh, k will run 3 times so it will exceed to 11 12 and 13 okay mm. and one more time 13 so when I release this code it will create a shape like this okay mm. now I, I want to create a reverse triangle here mm. now let's see another code here Uh, another loop I will run after that 1 to 5 it will be same 1 to i it will be same but the next thing what I am doing here k plus 10 minus i plus 1 mm. this is the uh, logic fixed here mm. because one star is already created I don't want to create a second star here ok mm. so I should start from this section on yeah. here I need four stars only not five mm. ok so this is the thing I, if I don't use this plus one what happened it will create a different section here I need one star above so I just remove the first star or I want to generate the first star here because the loop is running so when I copy paste this value to this section no, no actually no problem is there ok it will work good so here I use plus one what's happening let's run the code here I just pick a break mark here so that it the code should stop here so I just play this code and it, it stop here so one is created now let's see whatever is happening F8 K I is having the value of 1 <laughs> so for the first time what it will do now the code run I1 K1 one plus 11 minus I 10 plus 1 11 so in the 11th column this was the 11th column the first star goes here ok now let's go ahead I has containing the value of 2 in second cell K will run at 2 so 1 10 11 minus 2 11 minus 2 9 plus 1 10. 10 10 means here so in this section it will work 
okay so i go ahead so you can see the two stars here i basically mine uh, doing minus the cells and plus 1 is yeah. ju just for exceeding uh, in this column intervene in this mm. column okay mm. main function is doing i for reverse thing because i always increasing mm. okay uh, now let's see what happens 2 k 3 13 minus 2 11 plus 1 12 K three thirteen minus two eleven plus one twelve. So where it is working? Here. Mm. Now simultaneously when we run the code, uh, when we release the code, so we will. uh i just remove this break mark we release the code so we find a tri triangle also here now i want this code like this in reverse mm I want the code like this. Yeah, I understood your point. Yeah. So let us take the example of third one. There are four triangles which I am creating through code. Mm. Here, what I am doing? I am doing. the i will be remain will be same in every place but this mm. second loop keep changing always here i am doing 5 minus i means what mm. uh when we have i as a 1 then it will generate 4 mm. then because why i am generating 4 because i don't need this thing to be generated again because it was again created duplicacy so i need this 4 only or this should be pasted here only okay so i plus 5 k plus 10 in i i have used 5 because i want to uh go down here i will be 1 to 5 the column will be row will be started from 6 okay then 7 8 so that's why i equal to 5 okay then k uh, uh plus 10 is same 1 plus uh, 10 11 12 13 14 it will run in this manner so let set a break point here then play the code it will stop here and whatever it is doing let's know through f8 so it has given its first star in sixth cell F8, second here. <coughs> Four star. How? Mm. I row will be sixth and K is equal to five and fifteen. It is coming here till fifteen. Okay.
so it will populate result like this every time it it will reduce the code mm -hmm. this section so we generate value like this but where we are using this one this is just for uh... Uh, knowledge sake only knowledge sake okay uh, for sharpening the logics only mm -hmm. okay okay actually uh, we i do so much programming but I, i can't prepare by myself these code but when i was learning the programming i was using this code to uh, sharpen my logics mm -hmm. but again if anybody say design by your own i can't okay <laughs> okay so le let's see the final loop here the mm. fourth loop the five uh, minus i it is same mm. here wh what is the magic yeah i am using in column 6 minus k plus 5 Couple of five because in column section I want to work here. Hmm. So here I was using plus ten, but whatever I have to do six minus k, such as hmm. in reverse values I was working as five minus y, I will use hmm. six minus k. So when you run this code. when you run this code then you will find a perfect pyramid yeah. shape mm. so i will mail you this sheet yeah then we will then you practice about that we will continue tomorrow with switch yes, switch cases and other features okay sir yeah okay sir thank you okay.